All right, can you see my screen? Just one person to confirm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, all right. So you are, you are to get a pit deck, okay? Uh, whether you are going to use a template, whether you are going to use a system template, you must add this, as you can see, this uh, as a key icon, uh, logo here, or the right up here, you have to attach it on your pit deck, okay? Uh, if we happen to create a template in the pit deck with my share, or if you are going to get it, we also tell you how to go about it. So during during your demo day, you are going to have a pit deck, right? You are going to have a deck. A deck is a presentation, which is your slide, right? So your why we call it pit deck is because you are going to be pitching it. You are going to be to be pitching it, and then you have this slide, okay? Or your deck is that presentation. So an investor can say, send me your deck, means just that presentation. But the pit deck is the one that you're going to be sharing and you are presenting it, okay? So that's why we call it pitch deck. So your pit deck should be branded, okay? And make keep it very simple. We are just giving you guidelines on how to go about it. Keep it very simple. So we are going to use this as an example, as, as you can see my screen. So let's assume we have a company called Group Buy, okay? So this could be the logo. This is just uh, an instance. So as you can see, the aim of your pitch is just for you to convince someone to buy into your business. You are not coming to talk different, just the aim is go straight to the point. This is what we do, and you need to convince someone to be able to buy into your business. And you need to use more of images and less of write-ups so that someone can understand what you are doing. So for instance, this is the business we are trying to present. So we can see we empower university students to, to buy full stuff cheaper. At this point, the judges will be like, oh, interesting, how are, how are they doing it? You might be inspiring curiosity, right? And at the end of the day, they'll be like, oh, interesting, let's see what they have. And here, someone clearly understands what you are trying to pitch, right? You empower university students to buy food stuff cheaper. So the next thing someone might be looking at will be, oh, how are they doing it? Oh, let's see, okay? So uh, you can arrange your deck any how you want, okay? But there is a flow. The, the first part, which is this, is your where you have that your elevator pitch, which is something like this, okay? And it must be very clear. And you don't need to write a whole lot of notes here. Just something very clear that will be catchy, that someone will really see this is what we do, right? And it should be something that is compelling. So here, depending on also how you want to arrange your pit deck, you might not have this, okay? If you want to tell a story, remember you might have three minutes. So you don't need to go and tell it. Somebody might be telling a story and three minutes has ended. You have not even talked about your team. You have not even talked about your business model and they will tell you time up. So even if you're going to tell a story, you are also going to tell that story in a very short way. And you must rehearse and practice your pitch. Make sure you practice, 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 practice. And also, don't just prepare for this because of this pitch day or demo day. Prepare for it because you're preparing for your business, because your business will also live beyond uh, the demo day, right? Okay, so you might not need this. It all depends on how you want to structure your, your presentation. So let's say you are talking about we empower university students to buy food cheaper. 
So you can do your normal uh, in, uh, introduction. Hi, my name is Igwe. I'm the founder and CEO of groupbuy.com. At groupbuy.com, we empower university students to buy food cheaper. In 2017, I met my friend who is Amarachi. She's a university, uh, she's a Unipost student. And so I can connect and tell the story. Probably that's why I want to bring this just to tell the story and I can continue. So you don't just bring in certain things because another person is bringing it. You are bringing it probably because that you want to structure your pit deck based on how you want to pitch it, right? So that could be why someone will have this. So you don't just go and bring something like this, right? So because you want to talk about uh, Amarachi or some someone like that, and you want to connect with, with that. So why you are, you are not to read your pit deck, please. You are not going to be put your pit deck and you'll be reading it. Amarachi is 21 years old. Uh, uh, she lives in Port Harcourt. She's single. You are not, that's not the M. The M is just for you to engage people with your slide, right? Why do you make your presentation? So that it will engage them while you are pitching. That's the essence. And don't bring anything that is not necessary into your pitch. So usually you are going to have the elevator pitch, the next thing or the intro page where you have your logo. Most times your logo can be fully or so visible. Then you have a clear elevator pitch of what you, what you do, right? Most times it could also be a tagline. Then the next thing is usually the problem. Okay, so the problem. So some people can just say problem and then you continue. And here, like you can see, you are not meant to come and write story, come and type notes. As you can see, this is short and straightforward. And remember we said you are not coming to read what you have on your pit deck. You are just to keep it to engage people. Then you cannot pitch. You might not even be looking. You don't need to look at your pit deck while pitching. You just have to use it to engage people. So when you get to your problem, you cannot say, for instance, just like Amarachi, who happens to be a university student, who uh, millions of other students across Nigeria are having the issue of high cost of food. And also, uh, remember you are talking about uh, you're talking about you help them buy food cheaper. So everything you are saying must connect to whatever you are pitching from the first time. So it must be consistent. You don't need to come and start pitching that we are into catering and then you now begin to pitch again that we are teaching people catering and all that. It becomes confusing for the judges to say, what are they really doing? Is it this or is it that? You don't need to bring that confusion to your judge to, to the judges. You just have to go straight to the point of what you are doing, the problem you are solving, and what you are doing. If there is need to now mention part of the things you do, you can maybe find a way to mention that. But don't confuse the judges or confuse the investors or people that we do this, we do that, we do that, we do this. You just go straight to the point. This is exactly what we do. If you cook for parties, then you cook for parties. As simple as that. So if you also do trainings, you can bring it up later. Let people understand clearly what you do. Okay? When you get to the uh, solution part. But everything must be connected. So you are telling a story. We empower university students to buy food cheaper. Someone is not looking at how are they actually doing this? So you are telling a story to say, this is how we are doing, doing that, okay? So why are you empowering students to buy food cheaper, right? Which is now where the problem comes because food stuff are expensive. So most university students can't afford to buy food cheaper in bulk, right? They can't afford, they don't have the capital to buy food in bulk, depending on how you want to say it. And you just say it and move on. Millions, just like Amarachi, millions of other students across Nigeria cannot afford to buy food cheaper. You don't need to go into details explaining any other thing. You are done with that, right? Remember, you might have three minutes 
So you just go straight to the point, hit it, and then move on. Then you are talking about the, you shouldn't have more than three problems. Here we have two. You don't have more than three problems that you, you're, you are looking at solving. Let it not be more than three and let it be very concise. So local food group buying, group buys are inefficient. So one of the ways for people to buy food cheaper is through group buy, right? So you can say, after you talk about the first problem, you cannot begin to mention that one of the ways for people to buy food cheaper is through group buys. But the traditional group buy system happens to be inefficient. It's tedious and very time consuming. You move on, right? Remember, one of the mistakes we make is that you might want to give more emphasis on something so that someone will, so that you feel like someone will understand you more when you say it more, right? Once you do that, move on to the next thing, right? Allow them to ask you questions and make it easy for them to understand clearly what you do. So we can now begin to say, and that is why we started groupby.com. Groupby.com is a mobile social commerce app that enables students to connect with each other and form groups for purchasing food stuff in bulk directly from wholesalers at discounted price. Our solution helps students to save money and for the wholesalers to make money and everyone will save time. How do we do this? Or how does it work? Or this is how it works. So you see, you're explaining how you're empowering students to buy food cheaper. You told a story about someone who is buying food expensive. Amarachi is buying food expensive, who is a Unipost student and all that, right? You can just say Amarachi, is a, Amarachi happens to be our first customer who X, Y, Z, you tell the story, then you connect that millions of other people are having this problem. They buy food expensive. And every problem you are going to be mentioning should resonate with other people. You don't just bring a problem. So if I ask you, uh, do you agree with me that food, food stuff are expensive? Yes. So it should be something everyone should agree with you. Don't go and bring a problem that people will be like, eh, uh, ah. What is it? What, what do you mean by this problem and all that? Let the problem be very clear. Once you're able to explain the problem, it makes it easy. So you can move on after you talk about the solution, uh, the solution to talk about this is how it works. Now, remember that this might not work for every kind of pitching because let's say you are into catering. You might not come and say this is how it works. You can also say this is how we do it, right? Or this is how we go about it depending so not everything here might be possible for everyone so you might not need to have how it works here you can just bring maybe pictures of some of your events right some of your occasions that you have so people need to see that you are doing that business you need to convince somebody you are doing that business so that when the person is looking at you the person knows you are doing this business okay so here we cannot begin to say that this is how it works. Or it, uh, it's very simple. And with just four steps, any student can buy food cheaper using our solution. One is that you can initiate or join a group buy and want to, how you want to get, your, uh, get it delivered to you. Then you make payment using your, into your wallet and you are only charged once the group is completed, right? So you move on. Now, you might not begin to talk about how big. Here, you, you have what we call the market size or market opportunity and all, and all that. You can change the title. So here, you can just say the opportunity we have, right? But you can just have a, a market size market opportunity and all that. So here you want to let people know that this thing we are doing can become very big. Or there are a lot of people who are looking out for this solution because we are not looking at creating, you might have a wonderful solution, but there are not enough people who should get that solution. So here you also want to tell people that this thing we are creating 
even if we are half, we have one person or two persons now, this thing can become big. That's all you are doing here. There are, there are different ways to do it. You can use the term, the sum, the sum, right? In, in that case. So when you begin to recite for pit decks, which will, will also begin to send you videos for pit decks for you to see how you can go about creating your pit decks and all that, okay? All you are doing here is to explain how big this can become. So over 1 million people, over 1 million Nigerian university students eat food daily. So what it means is that someone can now begin to look at it and say, this is true. And you don't need to fake any number. Most times you can just put uh, where you your citation, you can just put this figure was gotten from Statista, uh, Statista right? It's an online platform. So you can say NBS, Nigerian Bureau of Statistics. Maybe that's where you, so you can just put it very tiny somewhere. So you can just say, according to the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, we have over 1 mil, 1 1.8 million Nigerian university students, right? Here also, you can also, if you're using the term, the sum and the sum, this is now where you can now say, we are looking at reaching to so, so number of people, right? In most cases, people don't encourage you to say that and all that, okay? So here you might not begin to say, what makes us different? This is how we are different from every other person, right? This is how we are different from our look, from our competition, right? It all led for you to connect all this as a story, okay? So we are social, people can connect with each other, and then we are leveraging technology to make food cheaper. You are done with this slide, right? You move to the next one. This is how we are different from every solution out there in the market. Our platform is social, people can connect with each other, just like young people want to connect, and we are using technology, we are leveraging technology to make this happen. And at the end, end we make food cheaper. That's all. You move on to the next thing. Not just that, there are many more reasons why students love our service. For example, imagine you can buy one pack of milk from a carton, even at a host wholesale price, which is not possible today. You move, so depending on how you want to, but you must time yourself. Remember that everything you are doing is to convince people. You don't need to bring a whole lot of information. Every information you need to bring must tally with the time. We also tell you the time, whether it's going to be three minutes or five minutes, right? So through our platform, you can get your groceries and food stuff fresh directly from producers. And the most interesting aspect of it is that you can connect with other students to get feedback on certain products before you buy them because you buy together with others. So you have explained why, remember here, you explained what makes you different from every other person or every solution out there in the market, right? Remember we have, most of these things are part of the things we de dealt with in, in our link canvas. So this is this might be where you are talking about your value proposition, your, your, your unfair advantage and all that, right? Okay, so if you watch, when we say cheaper here, we are not just saying our product is cheaper. We have been able to demonstrate how we are making this cheaper because we created a technology, a platform that allows people to form a group to buy food cheaper, to buy food in bulk. So you can, depending on how you want to pitch, you can start from saying that today, the easiest way to buy food cheaper is to buy it in bulk. But millions of students out there cannot buy food in bulk because they don't have enough capital to do that. The only way for them to do that is to use the local group buying system, which is not efficient. It is time consuming and it's, 
tedious. So we created a simple mobile app that allows people to form group to buy food cheaper. This is how it works. You yourself, you can create a group or join other persons in, the, in that group. And then you buy your food in bulk individually. And this is what makes us different from every other solution out there in the market. Our platform is social, people can connect just like Facebook. And we are leveraging technology unlike our local competitors to make food cheaper. Not just that, there are many more reasons why students love our platform. For instance, you can buy a product, you can buy one product at wholesale price by teaming up with other persons to buy that product in bulk. You can easily get your groceries fresh from producers. And before you buy any product, you can get feedback, real feedback from people who have bought that product before. Here, you are talking about your attraction. So your attraction is what have you been able to achieve? Because you, you know sweet things, but you have not achieved anything. What have you been able to achieve? So that is your attraction. So you can say since we launched or since we started, or we started so, so time. So here, this is this is your key matrix. Right, this happens to be the core numbers that are important to your business. So when somebody looks at it, the person should be impressed to say, okay, interesting, oh, wow, that is all you are doing. At the end of the day, the person should be able to score, you are solving an invasive problem. It is very clear, you have been able to pitch it. That's all you are doing. So here you can say, we launched on 14th of February and so far, we have over 1,200. In this case, you might not come and start saying we have 1,230 students. You might not need to come and start. You can just say so far we have over 1,200 students who use our service. We are currently in two universities and we have about 40 wholesalers who are selling through our platform and we have generated over 12 million in revenue. You move forward. You don't need to explain, come and start talking. That's all you have to say here. We started February, or we started six months ago. We started 30 days ago. We started, so you might not even say we started the time you started. Anyhow, just all you have to prove here is that you have been doing something. Even if you have not launched your products, have you, what have you done? Have you completed your mobile app? Have you completed your web app? Have you set up your store have you purchased your raw material that is all you you need to prove to the judges that you have done something because you can bring up a whole idea beautiful idea but you have not done anything right so that is all you are doing here and make sure you keep it very short we launched on 14th of february 20, this year and so far we have over 1,200 students. We are currently in two universities with over 40 wholesalers selling on our platform and we have generated over 12 million in total revenue. You move forward. Currently, we are focusing in public universities. Currently, we are focusing in public consultancy. You hear me? Can someone confirm you yes, can hear sir, me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you, but just you can hear you. Yes. All right, cool. Cool. So at this point, we can remember that all you are doing here is to be 
come to buy into what you are doing, right? So if you watch all your pitch, must be connected. It must be coordinated. You don't need to come at one point and be talking another thing. The person will be like, what exactly are you doing? Is it this or is it that? So you have been saying the same thing. We help people by, we help not just people. You know exactly who you are targeting. Remember, we said we are starting from public universities. So here we can say, currently we are starting from public universities, but by next year we are looking at local choice. And look at this carefully. We said low cost estates because this means that you know people you are targeting. You are not going to target rich men because rich men can buy food in bulk. You are looking at low cost estates, right? Low cost where you can go. People might not be able to buy food. Uh, in bulk. So we are talking about public universities. Most private universities, they are rich, rich uh, men, children. Who they they might even buy them one bag of rice and all that. And right, although you can go into that, but you you are clearly saying this is where you are going to, right? So that is why you might bring this. So not everybody will bring this. So bring those things that will be convincing. Right. So, and you, as you clearly, as you clearly see, you don't need to come and entice people and say, "Oh, we are in public, we are in public uh, universities, we are in local churches, we are in low." You don't need to, but you just need to explain to people that this is where we are going to. So you can come to the point and say, and be make sure you are happy pitching, you are smiling and all that. You can make it more. You can make it entertaining. Right, so you can now be able to see. So, how do we make money for any business? You must make money, and this is how we make money. Right, we take five percent commission on every sales from sales. You don't need to. You don't need to. You see, all of these things must be straight to the point. You don't need to come and start saying a whole lot of things to it, to prove the points. How do you make money? We take five percent commission on each sales from sellers. Now, this number you see here, you may not even mention it. It is just left for people to look at. So you yourself, as I'm saying this, you might be looking at that number. So if you must explain this, you don't need to explain this. It might come during the time of you, maybe answers, Q&A. They will ask you, then you can explain. But if you watch this, this also explains your financials in some ways, right? So you can say that we take 5% commission on each sales from customers. So this means you know exactly who you are charging. You are not charging the students. You are not asking the students to pay money. If you are charging the students, you also make it very clear. And as you can see, it's very straightforward that you take 5% commission. What an investor is looking at here is the person is calculating. That's why you provided this number. To make it, to let the person see that I can get back my money. We talk, We have talked about ACT. That is what an investor is calculating here. Will I get back my money if they take five? So that is why you provide this. Now, by 2025, we are looking at getting 10,000 students. Right? By 2025, we are looking at reaching to, to 10,000 students. And averagely, a student spends 60000 in a year on our platform. What it means is that students spend about 5000 on an average monthly. To your platform. So you are... Sorry about that. Thank you, can, can you, I believe you can see him. So if you have 10,000 people and they are going to be paying 60,000 Naira, automatic, automatically that will give you 600 million. So by 2025, you are going to have 600 million, right? But you might not need to come and explain this. But if you must, you, you have to do it very fast. You have to do it very fast, okay? This is how we make money. We take 5% commission on each sales from wholesalers. So imagine 
uh, not you don't need to say margin because you have to. So our goal is by 2025 to reach 10,000 students. Averagely on our platform, students pay, we, we make about, students spend about 5,000 Naira monthly, making it 60,000 in a year. This will give us about 600 million by 2025. You move forward. How do we intend to reach these 10,000 students by 2025? So that's why we said you might not even mention this. So at this point, you can now begin to see how do we remember we talked about go to market strategy and it's someone should be able to look at it and say, wow, how you are going to reach these people is interesting, it's inspiring, and yes, you will. So you need to put everything you are doing, you are proving it. You are not just coming to just talk, you are proving your business model. Why this thing will scale. So how this is how we intend to reach to 10,000 students by 2025. From the student side, we are creating our platform allows people to invite their friends to come by with them. So that makes it possible for us to get more people coming into the system. We are introducing what we call the food mining concept, where every day students will get two naira once they open the app. So once you open the app, you make one naira. So this will make a lot of them to come to the to come to the app, right? So you move to the on the seller side, which is on the wholesaler side, we are looking at partnering with a whole lot of sellers, food wholesalers, and then we are creating a community of group by hosts, people who want to serve as hosts to connect people to buy and detect commission. So you might explain this letter because they might ask you some questions. So at that point, you might not need to go and start saying a whole lot of things so that, so we, we are closing, right? So you need to, depending on where you need to bring your team, you can bring it forward, you can bring it to the end. So you need to make sure you have a team that is experienced, and you must be able to prove that you have people who can deliver all of these things you have said. You, you, because you will not talk about beautiful things, but you don't have people to deliver it. So at this point, you need to bring out the best of your people, right? So if you're if you're more if you're tech team, you need to make sure you have tech people. If you are if you are supporting, if you are uh, into catering. You need to make sure that you have experience. You need to make sure that you are maybe you, you need to make sure that you are certified Ketra. Right? If you have if you if you learned intercontinental dish from China, this is the point to mention it. This is the time to talk about to to this is the time to buga to say this is my this is what we can do. This is what we have done. This is that is this is why. So at this point, you can say this is why we are the best people to solve this problem. This is why we so or we have the best people to deliver this. We are the best team to do this. We currently have uh, two software engineers. Our uh, X Y Z. Uh, you see, a uh, successful person is a successful person. He has over five years experience. So this is where you need to talk about all that to convince people that you have the right people to do that, right? So if you have worked in Google, mention it. If you have worked in Diamond Bank, mention it. If you have worked in GT Bank, mention it. If you have worked in any organization, Shell, mention it. So this is where you need to mention it quickly so that people will say, oh, these people have the experience to deliver this. But also, don't go and say a whole lot of things, wasting a whole lot of time. So you, there must surely be an ask. At this point, this is your ask. What are you asking for? Right? So forget the title here. The title here can be team. Here, you can just say team. Here can be our ask, right? Here can be... Uh, our marketing strategy. Here can be our revenue model, right? But if you watch, you say, how we make money. Maybe you just want to make it very simple so that when someone looks at it, they will say, okay, this is how they make money, okay? So that's why you see those headlines. Now, 
this is your ask for if you finish all these things you need to say this is what i'm asking for are you asking for them to buy your products are you asking for them to give you money are you asking for them to give you partnership you might not even say you are looking for money you can say we are looking for people who can partner who can introduce us to supermarkets and it, there could be there could be someone who is who manages uh, a retail store. for example we are looking at bringing people like the the owners of uh markets to come to demo day for instance so let's imagine that he was there and you said we sell uh we sell uh, uh grinded pub or we sell powder and what you are looking for here you are not saying you are looking for money we are looking for people we are looking for partners that can introduce us to retail stores to see that our products are across different shelves of top supermarkets and there's someone who runs the supermarket there the person will now say okay after this conversation let me talk to you whether your product will meet the criteria to go into a uh, market square and if that if that works for you that is more money than someone giving you five hundred thousand. So it's all led for you to know what are you asking for. So if it is money and also partnership, you can. This is the best time for you to say, "This is what we are looking for." You might not know who will be there to support you, right? Okay. So uh, here you can say you are looking for five million naira. Okay. So if you want, you can say we are seeking for twelve months in. Uh, we are seeking for twelve months of financing to reach ten thousand students by twenty twenty one. Now. You see that all of the things we have been saying from so far has been consistent. So this money we are looking for is to help us to reach to this 10,000 students by 2025. And you are, remember we mentioned runway. Your runway here is 12 months. So if we take this money, it is going to do it. We are going to use it in 12 months. It's going to last for 12 months. It's going to last for 24 months. So if you see all of these things, you, have, you are putting back all of the things we have learned but you are not coming to write a runway and all that. So you see, we are, we are seeking for 12 months finance, meaning that this money will be used across or within these 12 months, right? This is what this money will help us do, right? We are going to use it to reach 10,000 students by this. So this is also, you are still bringing back this number, right? We are seeking for 5 million Naira, right? We are seeking for 5 million Naira. This will help us to get to the 600 million naira we want to. The 60,000 here is for us to get active students paying 10,000 uh, uh, 10, average purchase. I think that should be 5,000, right? That should be 5,000. So make sure you cross check all your writings on everything on your deck, okay? Like this number now should be 5,000. Remember that 5,000 into 12 will give you 60,000. That is why you have this 60,000 uh, annually. Right, so you are raising five million that will help you to get to uh, ten thousand students. Right, so here you, you can do ten thousand. You can just say ten thousand active students, not even this uh, sixty thousand. So the better thing that can be done here is to change this sixty thousand naira to ten thousand students. That will give you this number. So ten thousand active students. So you can save uh, under here at sixty thousand per year right which is you have already explained it in your business model how you are using five thousand they spend five thousand every month and then by by one year they are going to spend six thousand so if they are ten thousand ten thousand times sixty would give you six hundred million that is how you are going to make this money so you don't need to explain this you are just putting it for them to see so lastly will now be how do you want to use this fund? okay so this is how we intend to invest this money or these are the places where we are putting, where we are going to put this money. So this is also where your financials has done its work. So from your financial, you can now be able to know how many percent is going into marketing. So we are going to be spending forty percent of the money in marketing, in sales and marketing. We are going to be spending twenty percent in the production or in the purchase of raw materials. We are going to spend thirty percent 
or 25 percent for salaries and 10 percent for pensions. so it is very clear how you are going to spend that money okay so here you can you need to close with something in tight right so that something that people can be able to remember what you remember you for right most in most cases remember you have to do this very fast and at the end of the day you might not get some people might not even get to this end and they will tell them time up so you also need to practice practice so that you can be very fast and communicate to remove everything that is not necessary and at the end of the day you need to close with something powerful so far we have touched the lives of over 2,000 students. And with you joining us, we can empower more students to eat and live a healthy life. If you're interested in working with us, we are open to talk to you after this presentation. Thank you. Right, so any, any, anything you need to, this is also where you can talk about the impact of what you are doing, be more emotional to connect to those people's emotions to join you in, you can even tell them that this is a huge opportunity for you to transform the lives of people living with diabetes. With you, we can reach to 10 million other people. Why imparting lives we make money? Because you don't just need to tell people that you are changing people's lives and they are not making money. The essence is for them to make money, right? So once you understand this, right, this is just an example, then you can now practically understand this and then form it as a story and then make sure you can spend, you can also use maybe uh, 20 seconds for each page, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 15 seconds, and beat your three minutes or four minutes, case maybe. Okay, so thank you so much. I don't know if we have any questions. Okay, Elisha, please Hello? go. Can you hear me? Sorry. Yeah, Elisha, good please morning. Go. Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, this one is a very uh, comprehensive uh, slide or pitch deck. I would say it's more professional than my own level, but I hope I will get there. So my issue... Do we have anyone that can get this kind of slide for us within right five? Because uh, this is out of my own um, mind. I can't get something like this. Attaching maybe the SAP logo and my company logo. It's something I have never done. So my question, do we have anybody that can assist us on this? Or do we look for external person? Thank you. I don't know. Marco, would you want to react to that uh, so we can do that together? Okay, um, Elisha, um, it, it's important that we understand our strength, right? Um, but I would mostly emphasize that the content of your your pitch deck has to be done by you, who is a visionary. Uh, so just like the slides have been mentioned on the pages that should be there, you need to write them out. Uh, then for setting them up, like giving you the graphical representation, as you can see, uh, might be something that if you need help, yes, and certainly you have people who can help you achieve that, but that would be at a paid service, right? On the other hand, if we're able to um, give you a template, maybe that would also help. So these are the responses I can provide to your first. Yeah, thank you. That answers my question. I'm not skilled for someone to do it for me. Just the graphical, you use the right terminology, the graphical uh, representation. This design is 
very, uh, uh, it's more than what I can do. Thank you. Blessing, Uchi. I'll meet you, sir. Um, sir, I want to ask a question that I've asked before. Though I got clarity then, but I wanted to streamline it to this particular um, pitch event. In terms of our acts, um, the financials part, what are we asking for? Are we asking for the total of one million that is on the plier? And, or are we asking for the specific breakdowns or maybe target amount on the flyer that we are uh, hoping to get? Or are we asking for the 2,000 USD? What exactly are we asking for? Okay, so you are asking specifically for the money you need to run your business. How much do you need? How much do you currently want to raise? If it is 5 million, if it is 2 million, remember you must be realistic. Nobody will, will invest in your business right away. Within the course of the program, you have also learned what we call due diligence. So even before the person will give you the 5 million, the person will now want to ask you for your financial, your, your complete financial model, right? For that to happen, okay? I hope you can hear me. So the thing is, if you are looking at raising 2 million, talk about you are looking at raising 2 million. Forget about uh, 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 200,000. If you are going to get 250,000, that might not be enough. This is just a grant for you. What you are looking for is 2 million naira to run your business. So if you get the grant, it's just to help you continue. So don't talk about you are, you are looking at 2 million. Talk about uh, uh, 200,000. Talk about how much are you looking at so that even when an investor at the end of the day says, okay, I'm interested. You said you want to raise 3 million. Okay, I can give you 2 million. Then Okay, I think, can we see him, Stephen? Yeah, I think I'm done. So I, I was saying you should put the money you want to raise. Okay, that's what you need to put, not the amount on the fly. Okay. Oh, thank you. Um, do we have any more questions? Yes, good morning. Okay, good morning, Eunice. Go ahead. Good morning, Mr. Igwe. Good morning. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay, um, Mr. Igwe said um, that when pitching that, um, I wanted to say that your problems should not be more than three. So I want to know if, why he said that, is it because of um, distance? Is it because of time? Is it because of time or is, it is how you should be? It is how it should be, right? It is how it should be. I think that, that would be the straight answer to it, not because of time. You don't need to, you know, by the time you say we, we uh, teach children, then we go to Enugu and teach people who are sick, then we return back and go and teach people who are this, and then when we come back, we'll not teach people who are, it makes it like, what is this person doing? You are solving one problem. What is that one problem you are solving? If you are solving one, if just mention the problem. So if possible, like here itself, the, if you watch, this is one problem. The one problem here is the fact that food stuff are expensive. Most students cannot afford uh, to buy food stuff in bulk. That is a problem. Do you agree with me? People should agree with you that students cannot afford 
to buy food in bulk. And it's as simple as that. You don't need to try to package your business so big and say you are solving a whole lot of problem. And at the end of the day, people don't really understand it. That's the reason. If you watch the second part of the problem, the second part of the problem is just to back up the first one you mentioned because someone would someone might say uh someone might say this thing you are saying uh -huh, don't we have traditional people who do group buying that that is one way for people that is one easy way for people to really buy food cheaper or buy food in bulk as a group right but you are not trying to establish the fact that this existing alternatives remember we have what we call existing alternatives the existing alternative to this problem if you remember your lean canvas right the existing alternative for this particular problem happens to be local group buying systems so you want to discredit them by saying that in case someone thinks of that you have already explained that what that those systems are not efficient that is the reason for this. But if you look at the problem here, it's just one saying that students cannot afford to buy food cheaper in bulk. Does that help? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, great. So that, that, that means instead of just um, running health as get that, you just go straight to the point. That is what you are doing. Nothing more. Yes. Go straight to the point. This is this is a problem, and it must be very clear. If you watch this presentation from the beginning to end, if you now come and articulate it, someone will know clearly that this is a problem. This is a solution. This is what you have achieved so far. This is the number of people who might be having this problem, and this is how how you are going to make money from it. This is what you are asking people to do and all that, right? Yes. Thank you, sir. So just to add to that, I mm -hmm. see, see a pitch deck. Like uh, a setting where you just stumble on how what you're doing. So you see, if you try going to say, we we'll do this one, we we'll do this one, we we'll do this one. Uh, immediately he or she will just lose you will lose the person instantly right so focus on your core problem uh the major problem will bring in other features when need be once you win your interest they can now sit you down for 30 minutes when i want to start asking you okay what how do you do this how do you do that as soon as so forth Okay, all the knockouts, um, all the knockouts, you're mute yourself. All the knockouts, you're mute yourself. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm just, I'm just uh, trying to uh, clarify what I heard. I don't know if I if I'm correct. Um, the about the pitch deck. Uh, is it um is uh, Mr. Gray suggesting that uh, we shouldn't? It should be more than three pages. I don't know if someone asked that, that question. Whether it's just to we have to limit ourselves to three pages. Uh, is it just for three pages? Because uh, what I'm asking is, um, for example. Uh, a business who has uh, someone who has been in business or not not just not a uh, a business at at a growth stage uh yeah, yeah. a business at a growth stage uh won't it be proper to probably uh show your uh probably cash flow for the previous uh, S number of years maybe one two uh one two or three years and all that so if you are going to do such a thing like probably show your cash flows or show you your income statement and all that. And also, uh, okay, of course, the uh, whether you're a startup or, or whether, you're, whether, whether you're just starting or you, you are an existing business, you definitely go to have a, a, a revenue projection or yeah, revenue projection. 
So if in the case where someone has income statement uh, for the previous uh, cash flow for in the previous years, uh, I, I don't know how possible it is to accommodate all of these things in, in, in uh, three slides. Sorry. So I don't know. Is he saying that we must... No, 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 no. Uh, she was asking for the problem side. So I said that it's recommended that you don't list more than three. As you can see my screen here, you shouldn't list more than three oh, on the problem okay. side. Not, as you can see the slides we have here, we have as many slides, right? But you are not to go and start okay. clicking ahead. As you can see, we have different slides here, right? And we get to the end, right? So you are to have include all that. It's just about the problem. So we are saying don't go yeah. and list uh, as many things. And all of the problems you are listing should connect to each other. You don't need to go, come and say, we help people sweep the floor and then yeah, we yeah. help people go to the moon. How does sweeping floor and going to the moon connect, right? And go to the moon, exactly, exactly, exactly. Exactly. Okay, no problem. I thought I mean, that, that means I didn't understand what uh, what was discussed earlier. Anyway, so you have clarified it. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm Daniel. Okay, I'm Mister. Yeah, I'm Hello. Hello. Can I hear you? All right. Um, thanks for the session, sir. My question is uh, actually two questions. The first one is, um, is there any uh, need disclosing that is the company valuation you are uh, probably willing to exchange for investment at any point of your presentation? That is, uh, all this why we've been discussing on pitch uh, presentations. That is a... Uh, the dragons then and all that, you know, each time they are requesting for anything, uh, they are always disclosing the valuation they are willing to exchange for that. So is there any need including that in our pitch deck? And also the second question is, what if a, a business now actually is not really tech-based at this time, but probably it's something they are looking forward to including in a way or the other, maybe feature, in the future of uh, their operation. But presently, their, their, their website has not been launched or probably they don't have one at the moment. Um, is the, the person can still go ahead with his presentations, right? Hello, sir. Yes, yes, I got that. So, uh, sorry. Let me close this, guys. All right. So, you, you are asking to put the valuation. Remember, like we said, you can add anything you want to add. If you think that you adding it would convince people to invest in you, then add. Also add anything you are clear about. Don't bring anything that will confuse you yourself that when they now ask you, how did you arrive to this valuation? You now, ask, you now tell them that that is what you think. If you think that that would, you, you can convince people this is how you came about that valuation, then that's fine. Go ahead and add it. So you can say, we are looking for 5 million Naira. So you can come under this place and then put maybe 10% 10, 10 equity, right? So you can also put a equity investment. You can make it clearly like this is, as you can see, angel investment. You can turn this in equity investment, 5% 5 5 stake. Right, so it's led for you. You might not even mention it, but if you are going to put five percent, ten percent, two percent, you also need to back up and prove how you got to that valuation, so that not when judges will ask you, okay, you mentioned this, and they will ask you, and you have done a wonderful pitch, but you have already 
scattered yourself because you didn't you cannot even defend what you, but if you can then go ahead and, and put it you you mentioned uh if you don't have the technology and all that like look at this place if you can see my screen look at this place like we mentioned all this speech we have been talking about we have been saying that we started in look at this we said so far we have reached over 2000 students and we are currently in two universities right and at this point we are saying that currently we are targeting public universities but by next year we are looking at so there is nothing wrong with you just be authentic be authentic be yourself and be authentic if you are a tech-based company you should have your mobile app you should have your web app but it, let's say you run a farm having a website is not a a, a compulsory thing for somebody to invest in your business but if you say you are looking at creating a website that will allow people to order your food right you can put it as your timeline you can have a page okay. like here you can have a page that says maybe roadmap right by next year this is kind of like here this thing we talked about places we are targeting someone can change it to say our roadmap so currently we are focusing on public universities, but by next year we are looking at targeting local churches, and then we begin to look at local uh, uh, estates. You, you can say, currently we run a farm and we are selling directly to retail stores. By next year, by six months time, by three months time, we are building our online platform that allow people to now connect and buy our products from our online channels. So there is nothing wrong for you to openly say that your platform is coming up in the next six months. But if you're a tech platform, imagine you are you are selling online, purely online, and you don't even have any online. That, that makes, okay, imagine you run a farm and you don't have a farm. I hope that- Well, it doesn't make sense. <clears throat> Okay, like we don't have any more questions. Okay. Our next session is then um, is at 7 p.m. today with Mr. Victor Akman, Victor Akman and um, Omotala. So we are expected to be available. We are expected to be on the call. So that's it.